guys, I'm Laura and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a whole bunch of stuff to share with you. Um, it started off something simple, little, picking up some skincare bits and bobs. And then it, there was like an innocent backup purchase happened and then something very stressful happened and I stress shopped. Um, so yeah, I'm not justifying my behaviour. Well, I am justifying my behaviour, but... I'm just accepting that it happened and I'm moving on. But I want to put these things away and uh, start using them. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna dive right on in and start with body care, skincare, my gift for purchases, and then end on makeup, because it's, it's a lot. It's a lot, I don't even know how long this video is gonna be, but hopefully it's quite short, because I don't have too much time today. Anyways, let's get started. Um, first of all, we're a few bits from Primark. I picked up a instant volume dry texture spray because only Charles Worthington, I think, does dry texturizing sprays anymore. If anyone knows of any other brands that make it, let me know because I do love me a dry texturizing spray and um, because everyone decided just before lockdown that, that sleek hair was the thing all over lockdown all dry texturizing sprays were phased out and they stopped manufacturing them and now voluminous hair is back again and nowhere nowhere has it apart from that shake on powder that's awful so if you know any dry texturing using sprays that are kind of affordable affordable that aren't like the Oribe one or however you say it let me know but this is the primary one I don't know if it's good yet I have not tried it um I also picked up some tweezers in Primark because I'm forever losing mine. So yeah. And I'm not buying another pair of tweezermans until my kids are older because those things are lethal. Lethal. Um, I did pick up some lip balm. I did have more lip balm than this, but my kids went off with it. Took it to school and lost it. So I bought more. Um, thankfully, it's cheap and cheerful in home bargains. Um, so yeah. Lip balm. Basic, basic things. Um, I did pick up some nail polish for the first time in God knows how long. Um, I'm not going to go shop by shop, if that makes sense. I'm just categorising everything in categories. Um, but I did pick these up off of Feel Unique. These are China Glaze. They did have these for a little bit in Boots, I think, but they stopped stocking them. I just picked up repurchases of colours I used to have and I decluttered for some reason or other. This is for Audrey, it is a beautiful minty blue. This is peachy keen, it is a peach. And this is Concrete Catwalk, which um, is a repurchase for the one I already own. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see that that gap in there. I've never used up that much of a nail polish in my life. It's, it's possibly my most used nail polish ever. So I bought a second one. Um, I did, I have been trying to take care of self-care a bit more, so I picked up some more um, sort of body bits. Um, West Labs in boots. This is £3, but Vantage card, get it for like 2 50 or £2. So I've, I've already bought a bag, uh, I've already got the other bag open in the bathroom. So I bought two bags of Epsom salts. I love Epsom salts and I like buying the West Lab ones because you get so much. You get a kilo. A whole kilo. So yeah, there is that. I also picked up some exfoliator, some body scrub. I have quite a few body, body scrubs already in my stash, but upon actually trying them, they are not, not what I need. They're more like shower gels with some bumpy bits in them. So I will use them as shower gels with bumpy bits in them. And I can tell my kids have sprayed aftershave all over these. Oh, me. <laughs> so these are the Flakeaways. Just the classic um, in the pink scent from Soap and Glory. I've got two jars. They'll last me a good length of time. Um, which is grand. I also picked up some... CeraVe because these are products I've been wanting to try for lord knows how long and they've always been out of stock. Um, I got the smaller 
version of this because I wanted to try it out first. This is the salicylic acid smoothing cream um, with 10% urea. Um, I got the smaller version. This is uh, the 6 ounce one or 177 mils. I used it on my face for a bit. Um, don't worry about the crying baby. There is a there is an adult with her. Um, but yeah, I tried it on my face for a while and it, it really did help my skin texture. So I'm looking forward to trying this all over my body. And I also wanted to try this guy. Um, I, I picked up the jumbo size because I figured it was just going to be like Neutrogena face wash. This is the 16 ounce um, salicylic cleanser. You can use it on your face and your body. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to try this all over my body in the shower. So I think it's going to be great. It's going to be freaking awesome. On to the skincare portion. I, I did pick up quite a bit of skincare. Mostly because a lot of it was on clearance in Boots. So these, ga these guys are like £15. Normally £17 or £15. I got them for a fiver each. These are the Q10 um, Vitamin C, Vitamin E ampules they're like a weak treatment so i have four um yeah so i picked up four of them because they are so expensive just generally and over the course of a year they will quite easily get used up and they're just they're they're lovely to have um i also needed to stock up on um sun lotion and again they had a good deal of sun lotion in the clearance section uh they had these UV sport ones from Garnier for a pound each, SPF 30. And then they had these Ombre Solaire, again Garnier, UV Ski, um, 50 plus. And these were two pounds each. I got two of them. So I got two of the one pound ones and two of the two pound ones. And um, these are specifically formulated for extreme conditions for cold climate protection, which means they'll be perfect here for cold weather it gives you that extra moisturization i also wanted to look into getting new um oh wait carry on with the spf actually the other thing i picked pick up was the la roche posay um and Thelios because i love this it's not the matte one unfortunately they didn't have the matte one but hey ho it'll be fine uh, usually this is like 16, 17 pounds. It was on their £10 Tuesday. So I picked this up along with the Ole Ultimate Eye Cream, which is usually £24 for a tenner. Oh yes, I will give that a try. Um, So Boots £10 Tuesdays. Give those a bash. Um, as I was saying, I want to try and find a new toner because they don't make that Nivea toner anymore that I really, really like. And as much as I like the Pixie toner with the salicylic acid, you know, I'm trying to find cheaper things, easier, more more readily available things. I'll do roughly the same thing. Um, or if it's easier, just use salicylic mask or something. No, glycolic acid mask. You get the picture. So I picked up a bunch of toners um, to try and replace the Nivea one. I'm trying out the Simple Soothing Facial Toner, the Garnier Aloe Refreshing Toner and the Garnier Rose Soothing Toner. To see if any of those are comparable to the Nivea one. Um, as far as the other one goes, this is the Radiance uh, Vitamin C Toner from number 7 and I picked this one up in... Home bargains to give a try it's the Crichton's salicylic acid exfoliating toner I kind of think this might have been a good dupe for the Effaclar one from La Roche-Posay I know that neither of these are glycolic acids so they don't directly compare to the Pixie but it's whether they give me the results I want you know and for a lower price point which would be grand um, I picked up a cleanser from Botanics. I love Botanics stuff and they've got a bunch of new things. This is the clarifying with turmeric and willow bark. Um, so yeah, I like, there. there's a cleanser that I really like from them. It's the brightening one with ginkgo berry, I think. It's really good. And then I picked up the 
ice serum with 3% caffeine. So I've never, I think I've had an ice serum before, but we'll give that one a bash, see what we think of it. And I also picked up some of the Boots Ingredients products. I picked up the Niacinamide Serum, Niacinamide Clay Mask, which I have tried and really, really liked. And the Turmeric Moisturizer, because I remember trying a Kiehl's product. I can't remember what it was called. It came in a yellow jar. And it was this glorious moisturizer and it had turmeric in it. So I'm going to give that a try. It, it just did wonderful things to my skin. Um, I also picked up the Seek Pear Tiger Grass from Dr. Jart. I picked up the half size one. This is like a Paulina. Um, <coughs> this is like a Paulina recommendation. It's It goes on green but blends in skin coloured. Um, <coughs> but she recommended just getting the smaller jar because it takes like an eternity to go through. So that's what I did. Got the small jar. I also picked up a day and a night moisturizer. I'm trying to go through all of the moisturizers that I own, which you know it sounds counterintuitive buying moisturizer, but I kind of wanted it as a bit of a buffer, using up two or three jars of my almost finished older creams and then using a jar of new cream as sort of a reward, right? <laughs> The things we do to justify it. So these are just the essential moisturizers from number seven. They're nothing fancy. They're just good hydrating moisturizer with um, elderflower, vitamin E and omega oils. And I think they're pretty much the same except um, one slightly more emollient because it's a night cream. Um, so there we have that. And that is all the skincare that I picked up. But I did get a bunch of skincare free gift for purchases um i got two of these guys because of the i got these gifts for purchases because of the the makeup that i purchased and the way that i purchased it um i broke up my orders um and i got a bunch of free gifts for purchases um this is the double skin defense kit from shiseido it has a um, cleanser softener and a serum so i have two of those to try out um, I got a big bundle of skincare and such from Feel Unique. There is Glam Glow in here, Kate Somerville, some um, Clinique. These Fakai, I think it's called. It's a shampoo and conditioner set. There is a miniature Kat Von T Trooper liner in here. Um, there's a body wash. Um, this guy is in here. Um, it's a, an illuminator from Sleek, a full size one. So yeah, there's there's a bunch of little little goodies: ginseng moisturizer, eye cream, um, a really nice coldly face wash. So I'm excited to try out those little bits and bobs. When I purchased the body scrub from. Um, Soap and Glory, I did also get a free bar of soap, which is kind of exciting. One side um, is moisturising and the other side's like um, clarifying. So um, yeah, I will eventually get that in rotation in my shower. Um, and I also got three of the Ekpar Duo samples. These so, yeah, so I've got like 9 mil of Effaclar Duo. I will work that into my skincare routine as well as these guys, which I'm most excited about. These are the um, Elizabeth Arden Hyaluronic Acid Ceramide Capsules, which I had a jar of these in my early 20s and I really loved them and I never got around to repurchasing them. So now I've got about three weeks supply of them. So I get to try them out and enjoy them and... If I really, really like them, I will add them to my wish list and eventually pick them up. I do also have some smaller samples of Caudalie Serum, which I've had this before. It's the Vino Perfect. Oh no, I haven't actually had this one. I've had the, I had the Vino Source uh, SOS Primer, Skin Quenching Serum. This is the Radiance Complexion Correcting Serum. So I'm kind of excited about this. Oh, so nice. And I got two sample cards of the Laura Mercier Blur Extreme Matte Lipsticks. Um, 
which I was really interested in this product. So it's I I never get lipstick samples ever ever. So getting a couple is awesome. Um, I also got a sample of card of the medium shades of the eyebrow from Revolution because I bought a product from the range, which I'll show you in a moment. And there was also a gift with purchase going on at the time. It was the Rescue Lip Oil in the shade Peach, which I haven't opened. So I can't tell you how it is. And the last gift of purchase that I got was the Brush Up Brows Soap Brow from Beauty Bay. So I will be looking at you how to how to use this properly. Um, I'm assuming it's just the same as regular soap brows. You wet it a bit and then brush it in. Because I've been doing that with a bar of pear soap for ever. <laughs> but having a little jar just to do it with. That might be a nice change, right? I had to stop for a little nose break. Allergy season has begun. Um, so, the makeup portion. You know, I'm not supposed to be on like, I know by, you know, I know. This started off as a, an innocent, they're discontinuing my favourite lipsticks. I need to, I need to buy backups of my favourite lipsticks. Because um, L'Oreal has discontinued, like, 75% of the range. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna, well, they got rid of all the matte lipstick ranges, all the ones that come in this black tube, which is my absolute favourite. Freaking adore them. And I don't know if they're gonna transfer the colours into the main line, because they've brought a bunch of new colours in the main line, so if they've already done that, that usually means they're not gonna transfer shades over. So, yeah. And because I haven't been a, a regular window shopper like it used to be I was not aware of this so I couldn't buy any they were all out of stock in each shop that I went to I know I know there's there's bigger fish to fry in the world but you know it was my little little moment of panic um completely frivolous panic but you know um so I went on eBay and and I picked up a bunch of un, of of lipstick <laughs> so Let's break it down. Break it down. I picked up four shades of the shade Erotique, which is like a gorgeous matte pink colour. I'm not going to open them um, for obvious reasons, but yeah. <laughs> I picked up two shades of the Garage Amoureux and two shades of the Beige Anou. Um, those are I know they're in the, the, the mainline packaging, but I couldn't find them in the mainline. Same with the Erotique. They transferred this into the matte range, and I don't know if they're transferring back. So, there is that. Um, I picked up three... Was it just three? This one I got four. Um, three of the Nude shade, which is such a classic staple. It's shades 235 Nude classic staple in the L'Oreal lipstick shade is most people's first drugstore lipstick um if you were you know came to of age in the early 2000s this is probably like your go-to lipstick so I love it I've gone through tubes of it and I don't want to be without it so I picked up three shades um because again I couldn't find a tube of it anywhere I picked up three tubes of stone, which is kind of like a, a light brownish nude, but matte. And I picked up a bunch of mocha sheet, which is kind of like um, erotic, but a bit lighter. So where's all my mocha sheets? <laughs> this is so disorganized, I'm so sorry. We have four of mocha sheet. I got two of Copper Clutch, which is a dark, um, a dark reddish brown nude. I got two of Grage Perfecto, which again is a dark brownish nude. Um, and I got two of Brick Vintage, which is a sort of orangey matte red that I love. So those were all the lipsticks that I purchased. And it was going to be just that, but then something very, very stressful happened that I'm not going to go into. Just, just understand, it was very, very stressful. Very stressful. Um, and yeah, 
it was it was just, yeah it just was um but before we get into that the first thing i'm going to show you is stuff that i picked up just before the new year <laughs> color pop i picked up just before the new year this was initially going to be my last purchase before going on the no buy and until like a week or so ago it was <laughs> so i picked up three lip glosses i picked up the um creature comforts in gemini i think this is no i don't know um but it's in the shade in the shade creature comforts yes the luxe lip gloss in the shade creature comforts i picked up two of the tube glosses one in small talk it's pretty and one in qt which i'm guessing stands for all the time and it is so pretty it's just like a a slightly tinted clear gloss. I picked up the Orchid You Not palette which is beautiful and I also picked up two more of these larger palettes because they are beautiful and they're so handy for like making custom palettes and I picked up five more single shades. I already had these six. Um, we have Tiki, uh, Mary Jane, Tea Garden, Glass Bowl, and Mr. Sandman. So yeah, we have those guys. Um, there was a few things from Revolution that I picked up before starting my no buy as well, which I will quickly run through. I picked up some eye palettes. These are from the XX range. We have Excite. I picked these up because they kind of remind me of Charlotte Tilbury quads. Um, extrovert. Extravagant. Extreme. And experience. And I also picked up two cream blush palettes because I was really into cream blush and I have more to share with you. This one is in Overload and it is definitely more um, highlighties with a bit of bronze and some blush in there. Um, this one, however, the Indulgence is way more blushes. It's got more array of actual proper blush colours in it. And then on to the actual recent purchases makeup applies um i should have showed this earlier i did pick up more um reusable cotton pads these are from makeup revolution freaking adore them will link as much of this as i can in the info box but if you are looking for them um some affordable um affordable reusable ones these are really good and you can they're usually included in their three for two deals that they use sometimes as well <coughs> So the first thing I picked up was a backup of this guy. I've been trying to get a backup for a couple of years now so that I can, you know, freely use the one I have. This is the Foil Frenzy. Um, these are cream to powder finish eyeshadows. Very reminiscent of the, the Natasha Denona. Maybe not quite, definitely not quite as high quality as Natasha Denona ones, but same similar formula and effect. Um, and this is in the, the Foil Frenzy Creation Palette. And I freaking love it. And I finally managed to get a backup of it, which makes me super happy i also picked up a pump because i want to try it on a few of my foundations see if they it helps um i got some sort of illuminating products we have the bright light strobe uh, in strobe champagne and it's sort of like a liquid highlight kind of supposed to mimic the charlotte tilbury things same with this this is the eye bright illuminating under eye concealer in the shade fair and i also got this to try out it's the glow up from the revolution the relove range um kind of regretting this a little bit because it just looks like it's going to be chunky glitter um whereas i thought it was going to be a nice sort of mix in with foundation but 
you know, you live and learn. And then I got this bad boy. This is the Skin Glow Tinted Skin Booster in the shade Blaze, which is either supposed to be a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Skin or it's supposed to be a dupe of the Auric. Um, yeah. I'm looking forward to trying this guy out. Um, I don't know if I can use it just on its own, but I will definitely be able to use it as a mix-in or underneath. And lastly, I got some stick products from Revolution. I got two of the mini size primers to try because I've been interested in them since they started coming out. But I was like, oh my god, should I buy the bullet because they're freaking massive. But they came out with those little ones. This is the Blur Stick Plus. Um, and this is the Universal Face Primer with vitamins B5, C and E. And this is the Brightening Blur Stick. Um, which just kind of has a bit more of a, a sheen to it and even though these are smaller they still have 12 grams each in them this actually this one has 12 grams this one has 15 grams and the big ones had like 20 grams so yeah I'm glad I got the smaller sizes and I picked up two more of the blush sticks that I adore um, so I got the bloom one which is a sort of bright corally color it's showing up a bit more orange on my viewfinder and then I got Peach. So yeah, um, I'm super happy to have these guys in my stash. I picked up um, another concealer to try. I have the Lift and Illuminate Foundation. Um, so I picked up the new concealer that goes along with it to give it a try. Because I had a coupon to get like, I think it was like four or five pounds worth of points if I picked up a concealer for number seven. Um, but it will get used. So I'm okay with that. As you saw, I did get the little freebie Beauty Bay product, which means I placed a Beauty Bay order. I picked up some of the new palettes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I picked up Love Notes one from their Valentine launch and is beautiful um, compared to, oh no, it's too far away. Can I reach it? I'm sure you guys have seen this comparison already, but let's let's just do it anyway. This is the Valentine's palette from last year. This from this year, as you can see, is a lot more sort of minimalist. It still has that really strong purpley rose, well, purpley pink vibe, but it's definitely got more neutralness going on there. But I think they go really nicely together, like this is very nice for like a day appropriate but then you can amp it up with some of the shades out here and some of the shimmers would go nicely with some of the mattes in here so yay um and of course of course i got suckered in with the new launch um this was when you know it just tipped over i was eyeing up and just you know that's really nice I'll add it to my wish list and then I just got tipped over the edge with the stress and just was like you know what? fuck it let's do it um so I got the midnight one I got the little the the half the, the medium sized version of the, the the midnight one because I don't need that many purples and I don't need that many blues in my life um and I think this is a perfect balance of the two tones I definitely think it could have done without the black in here because, you know, it doesn't have a black. <laughs> but here you go. Um, I got the the largest version of the berries palette. I'm kind of sad that they didn't manage to do a big, big version of the berries. I think they, that could have been cool, like, if they'd gone down more of these, like, bubblegummy colours and this shade Cloud. Oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm not going to sit and swatch them because you've been, you know, all over Instagram. All over. Um, also, if you watch um, Emma Fleming or Makeup by Missa, I'm sure that's how you say her, her username, Makeup by Missa. I will link them in the info box. They've done beautiful things with these palettes. Um, and of course, I couldn't, I couldn't resist getting the large version of the Earthy palette. It just has these little, this little pop of warm warm browns in the corner here and then the rest is just glorious shades of green this is stunning this palette is freaking amazing um i did swatch some of the darker shimmers like sage on my arm 
and it didn't come off for three days so I'm kind of a little bit concerned about how <laughs> this is going to be on the eye if I'm going to be able to remove it we'll find out we'll find out um and then we come on to the judgment free zone shall we say <laughs> You guys know that I love Natasha Denona. I really got into her eyeshadows a couple of years ago and I've been slowly building up my collection and it just so happened that a lot of the palettes I had been wanting were in stock so I ordered them and um yeah 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 so first of all we have one of the five pound palettes this is cranberry it is beautiful and stunning and that pink that pink is beautiful we have the sunset palette which i've been eyeing up for years and i finally just when i did want to pick it up it was never in stock and i was finally able to get it so I'm really, really happy about that. We have the Cirque the Local palette, which initially I wasn't too keen on it, but the more and more I got into Natasha Denona eyeshadows and the idea of building my own palettes with them, um, the more I liked the idea of having pops of color, color in her formula to mix in. Um, like if I were to get rid of a whole of my makeup and I could and the only eyeshadows I would like to keep it would be my Natasha Denona ones that is how much I love these so so much um, I picked up the star palette because they happen to have it on Beauty Bay I haven't no not Beauty Bay Cult Beauty and I haven't seen it for sale anywhere anywhere having it in stock for such a long time and these are just oh they're so beautiful it's like muted neutrals but also still vampy and it just it's beautiful, beautiful we have the Biba palette which is the neutrals again stunning perfect for building palettes and if I were to get rid of all my other um, eyeshadows these would just be perfect I have everything I could ever possibly need right here to build any look I picked up the retro palette I, I know this was very divisive for a lot of people the retro palette but just I quite like this sort of um cool toned rosy sort of rose tinted glasses vibe that it's got going on We have the Zendo palette which is just beautiful and I quite like the look at this shade Yama. It kind of reminds me of one of the shades in the gold palette which if it is like the shade in the gold palette I haven't had the time to sit and swatch everything out yet but if it is like the shade in the gold palette then I am going to be so happy. Um, I believe it's called Snake Eyes or Snake Green it's something to that effect but it's, it's one of those sort of like dual chromey shades in there or multi chromey shades. Um, but yeah even though it has like the blues and the greens I quite like that um, it may not be cohesive in the palette as some people have said um, but again I, I like to mix and match my palettes all the time this one I wasn't too keen on to start with I will admit this is the trio chrome palette but the more I saw people use it the more I saw it benefit like having these sort of um beautiful transition transition shades and of course having the trio chrome shadows in the middle there but it's just a nice addition extension to have these sort of lighter matter more pastel -y shades as transitions for all the other colors so i can see them fitting in perfectly with um things from the zendo palette or the um the purple blue palette that kind of thing and lastly we have the Leela palette which if I'm perfectly honest this was the first of the Natasha Denona palettes that actually caught my eye and I was like I need to have that and I was never able to get it 
Um, so this is the Lila palette and it is everything that I thought it would be. And I'm just so happy to finally been able to get my hands on it. I mean, it does have some, there are some duplicate shades within those palettes. Like if you have multiple um, Natasha Nuno palettes, you will start to see some repeat shades. It's not very often she repeats shades, which is a good thing. But when it's one of your favorite shades, it's also not a good thing. But at the same time, apart from a few people, <laughs> I've very rarely seen people hit pan on Natasha Denona shades. So, you know. And apart from this empty container of Real Te Technique sponges, which I don't know where they are because the children have decided that they're dragon eggs and have hidden them. That is everything that I've picked up since the start of this year. Well, since the end of December of last year, shall I say. Um, and from here on in, I will be re-entering my sort of low-buy, no-buy arena. And um, chalking this up to experience and just moving on with my existence. I'm not going to dwell on this. I'm not going to feel guilty about this. I picked up things that were generally on my wish list anyway. Um, the only thing that I like impulsively purchased was like the um was like these things from Revolution and of course the lipsticks. But you know, they're my favourite lipsticks, so it's not really an impulse because I know I love them and I'm gonna use them, even if it takes me the next ten years to go through them all. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I might do um some more videos with these items. Maybe my Natasha Denona shadows, like swatching out my favourites or something. We'll see, we'll see. I can't really make any guarantees in the moment because, you know, two kids in school and nursery, uh, a, a small baby who's now four months old. Um, It takes a lot of time. I'm very tired. <laughs> There's so much going on. So many balls to juggle. So many balls to juggle. But, um... Hopefully, by this point, you'll have seen my a couple of Get Ready With Me's. There's a couple of other videos that were supposed to have gone up months ago. And now we're here, up to date and ready to move forward. Yeah? Yeah? Cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.